and welcome at my channel. It's me again, your old one is seeing the place to be. Yeah, um, this time here I got some uh, thing that I really don't like on this PlayStation. <laughs> A guy sent me uh, this console uh, because the GPU is overheating. So I have just, uh, we can say, uh, open the heat spreaders. I have uh, just cut them. Like you can see, we got here the cell CPU. Um, already just plays it back with a great thermal compound MX4. Um, I got here, we can say, a model which is really difficult to open the CPU. Like you can see, um, we got here, like you can see, a CPU where you can see this dot. So um, this makes you really hard to open it, but I already can open all of them. <laughs> this is not, not a problem for me. So, but um, if you got a cell CPU where you can see you got the uh, uh, black stuff over there, um, so you can be sure that you will also maybe have problems to cut it because you need a tool. Uh, whereas we can see we need, you need a tool where it should be really very very thin otherwise you will not be able to cut over here because when you go here inside and you want to cut it you will just uh, stop here because this is just uh, we can say a blow cut um, so they have just put this shit uh, dots over here so that you will maybe not be able uh, to open it because this dots or this small bolts here will later just uh, make it really hard to open the cell CPU and it's really difficult because you can just cut it like this you can go for the front and just cut it always like this you see or if you have a really thin 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 tool extremely thin tool like I have here then you can still go from the front and then you can uh, cut it all around that's not the problem uh, but what I wanted to show you is um, you can see here over there on the cell CPU, you can see we got here a great pressor. Sorry that I'm shaking so much because I'm without three pot right now. So, but you can see we got a lot of uh, pressure over here. That's not the problem. Uh, let's go now for the RSX. Uh, the RSX um, has also a great pressor like you can see. But the other problem was um, that the, um, we can say, heat spreader from the GPU um, was really just easy to remove because I had already done all with uh, thermal company at all so I was wondering why the GPU is still overheating so I opened the PlayStation again and then I just touch it over here and I see okay this one is really yeah it's okay it's on the place it's not moving uh, and it's still uh, how can I say it's yeah it's just um, fix it so it's not moving you can see that I, I, you see <laughs> but this one I have just touched it a bit and this was moving so I saw that the thermal compound was just over here and here that means we had in the middle we had no thermal compound and that's why the GPU was still overheating because I will now show you sometimes Sony has bad heat spreaders. That means that the heat spreaders they are not really uh, straight, so they are not on the line. This heat spreader is okay, it's not the baddest. And you can see here, it's okay, it's not that, uh, it's not a problem. Also, if you turn it around, you still can see the lights here, please. So, and you still can see, you can see no lights, but now. Let's put the heat spread away and let's just check the cooler. Here we go. Look at this. I've just disabled my smartphone lights. We have just lights from the other side and here you can see it perfectly. This cooler is, we can say, extremely fucked up. So, uh, let me just zoom. Oh, I need to place it over here. Yeah, you can see that really great. Huh. This is so strange and so damn wrong. So uh, no wonder that uh, the thermal compound is just on the left side and right side great. But in the middle, you can see a lots of light. That means um, that it's not on the line. The cooler here uh, is really fucked up. So no wonder. Um, here, please, again. Yes, perfect. So 
look again this is not <laughs> this is not acceptable this is we can say really really shit now let's turn just the cooler to this side and let's test how it's, uh, how it's on this side and you can see uh, this is not bad it's a bit but not that much you should test this also not with a razor blade like me you can use other tools to see if this is on in the line or not but you can also use of course a razor blade just like I do but you can see this side uh, is okay let's go over here it's still okay maybe here a bit you see this side here yeah this side is a bit fucked up too you can see that here but here it's yeah not that terrible let's say like that because it's so so low it's mini minimum here it's just a bit uh, but when I turn it again to this side look at this huh. this is just bullshit guys look my god what sorry guys so let me just focus again here we go look at this this is not acceptable oh, no. this is really a big shit yeah uh, thanks to Sony again uh, great job here great done Sony got to love you Sony for the players <laughs> no no not really Sony for the mothers or maybe for the MacGyvers like me okay uh, now what you need to do is uh, of course I got uh, like always I got here I have just put in my marks you shall do that before you take out the original uh, thermal compound so I have to hear my mark that means CPU is here and then it's here okay let me just uh, make again on my smartphone lights again now with some lights um, like you can see uh, when you just have open your PlayStation and it's really just the first time open you should let the old thermal compound so that you can put your marks that you know uh, later where the heat spreader uh, needs to be place it back again uh, the other thing like I told you um, I just don't want again to uh, spend some thermal compound over here because uh, the MX4 thermal compound is not that cheap and it's a great thermal compound I just don't want to use it too much but I can tell you uh, it was just some kind of like this the thermal compound was over here and uh, it was also a bit I think it was over here and then nothing more that means uh, the thermal compound was about here just so here and over here you see but the bigger problem now is that this place here has no cooling okay so this place here has no cooling <laughs> that means that the heat spreader has not contact to the uh, we can say it has no contact to the uh, cooler and here we can say you had a lot of air because the CPU uh, is touching the heat spreader here yeah, on this side but the heat spreader is not touching the cooler and that's a big problem so uh, yeah what you got to do huh, that's easy you need now to lap with uh, sandpaper this place here needs to be lapped and about this place here you need to lap a lot so that the heat spreader later will be able to touch all around here I'm gonna do now some work here I got here my sandpaper uh, somewhere let me just see where here we go got some great sandpaper sandpaper I am gonna do this work now and I work out later again yeah this is uh, a great thing from Sony <laughs> so um, what can I say? I'm just... I don't know. This is... yeah. No comment for this shit here. So guys, like you can see, I have just lapped it all again. Um, the thing is also, you should do again your marks, because if you are lapping, uh, of course this will go down. And you should put your marks again, just like I have done again. It's maybe not so great to see for you guys. But uh, I can see it myself. 
so this is still here and we got one over here so and uh, I have also lap uh, the heat spreader a bit so um, if you can see I have just lap it a bit on this side and on this side you can see that great so because um, later the RSX I got here also a mark so I know this is just the other side from this side okay so the CPU heat spreader looks to the right side because this is the side where the silicon here is open and the RSX uh, has the mark on the other side because it's like that so I have like you can see I just need to imagine this is uh, from the other side and um, you can just imagine you need to turn it around and that's why I have just lap it here a bit and there a bit so it will also make it possible that this will go down the other thing is also here again the lights that you guys can see the difference between uh, before and now um, here we go you can see it's just a little bit more but not that crazy as before okay you can see uh, on the left side it's maybe just a bit but this is not the problem this is very very low and it's uh, yeah it's a lot better than before and uh, on the right side this is all just great let me just turn the razor blade maybe it's also the razor blade but you can see it's way better than before it's not really maybe uh, just a paper <laughs> that's called get inside so net, net uh, not a paper uh, I don't know the name but it's yeah this is just so minimum this is minimal um, it's way better than before I'm gonna now uh, just put in some thermal past and some some uh, some thermal compound and uh, then I will just put it there and then I will just also take it off again that we can see if the pressure now is great or not so guys like you can see I have just add now some uh, thermal compound MX4 you can see I got here also a small line just to be sure I do that always and now uh, I'm gonna just put it here over there and then uh, let's test if this is okay if not you need to lap it a bit more so just hold on here a bit okay so let's do this this is this side now you can see this on this mark here now let's just place it back where it should be so here we go um, here. Get down. So wait, now let's just, but I can already see this is swimming just a bit and that's a great sign. So now I'm going to just press it down, you shall do this always. Just need always to, ah, but look, I already can see <laughs> it's holding, already holding and that's a good sign. Now just let me put this in position. And then you need to press it down a bit because you need to be sure that uh, you put it back with pressure otherwise uh, you will not have pressure and then it's the same shit as this cooler we can say so here we go I already can see a bit coming out here and uh, that's a great sign here also so that's good I'm gonna press it a bit more so I hope this will work and you really need to do that just like I do too so and the lots thumbs up for my daughter she is recording this video and I see and Alina in the place to be hehe <laughs> okay um, it looks good now look um, you can see it's not moving and you also can see I have just add great thermal compound not too much because if you got too much it will run out and I don't like it that much uh, when you later put all together uh, the PlayStation that means the CPU and GPU holder will do the rest okay so when you put all together 
uh, and you have um, yeah fixed the screws, uh, this will give you a lot more pressure and this will hold a lot better. So like you can see here, look, it's really great. I can I can move it, <laughs> you see, and it gets not out. So now let me just open it. Uh, it gets really hot. Yeah, that's a great sign. But as you can see, it's maybe not that perfect, but let's see. Let's see how it looks now. Ta -da. Yeah. So now you can see we got just here a little bit more and here. But this is not a big deal. So this is, we can say nothing compared as uh, before. Before we had just thermal compound on the right side and on the left side. Um, just said that I have not recorded, but I will just demonstrate you how it was before. It was some kind of like this here. And um, so it was something like this. Yeah. Okay. So when I have opened it the first time, it has looked like this. On the left side we had a bit and the right side was a bit more. So this was like it was before <laughs> I have lapped it. And now you can see this is a big difference. I will now just lap it a bit more. I will pull it all together and then I'm going to check the temps again with you guys. I got here a Reebok installed and then I go with Multiman or with a Webman and I will see how the temps is. But here you can see also on the on the hit spreader, it looks very great. Let me just put this back here. So I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, but you can see already it, it has a lot uh, of uh, pressure. So this uh, hit spreader now has really a great contact. Uh, yeah, compare it as before. Okay, guys, I'm gonna now lap here a bit more, just doing it perfectly like you already know me, and then let's go for some tests. So guys, uh, I have now built all together again. This is the PlayStation. Um, now uh, I'm just um, yeah copying a game. Uh, this will take a while. Uh, I think maybe about 10-15 minutes, and then uh, we're gonna check the temperatures. I was now already about a half hour uh, installing here uh, some newer custom firmwares and this was taking we can say about yeah 20 30 minutes for all I've just done here all new the temperatures uh, was not going over uh, 61 degrees on the GPU so this PlayStation here um, had uh, really a lot issues before this was getting high up to 90 degrees <laughs> yeah you heard right 90 degrees on the GPU and the guy just has asked me if I can repair him this PlayStation because yeah he just yeah had no idea any anymore to do uh, what to do so I have just done this all uh, I will record again uh, when the game is uh, nearly finished copied and then uh, we're gonna see the temps I got now the fan settings at uh, 32% and I got also activate that when it notices that he wants to go over 60 then he will just control the fan absolutely automatically yeah that's a great thing um, I now will just let it copy and then I record soon again so it's finished pass about yeah 10 minutes now and um, let's check the temperatures here we go 47, uh, uh, 57 and 59 degrees and that's yeah really really great as before um, so here again let's just uh, get out here wait okay like I told uh, I just uh, have set the fan uh, to manual on always on on 32 percent and uh, let's check this out again here yeah you can see um, 32 percent 
and when it notices that the GPU wants to get higher than 60 degrees, the PlayStation will turn the fan automatically a bit higher, like you can see. Hmm? And the PlayStation is not that loud, it's really still quiet. Um, now uh, you can also go here um, to Webman, to settings of Webman. You can go to the settings and um, you can go here now. And uh, here you can just set some great things, like you can see. You can here activate the dynamic uh, fan uh, accelerator, or what it calls, uh, fan adjuster. And uh, I have just clicked it here that I want to activate it. I have uh, set it at 60 degrees automatically. And I have set it always on, we can say, on uh, 32. So this is the lowest you can tell you can tell him what should be the lowest uh, fan speed. So I have uh, just type in uh, 32 percent and when you just start a PS2 game I have set it at 33 percent because sometimes PS2 games gets also a bit hotter but it's not that bad. And uh, like I told you can set it on the lowest always on at 32 degrees on the PS3 uh, Slim Edition. This is just perfect and you also don't need more. Um, now as you can hear the fan gets a bit higher because it has no ties it gets uh, yeah to 60 degrees so the fan gets higher till it comes down again. You called also if this should be too loud for you but it's not it's okay it's just like it should be but for some people, um, if you are a sensible guy <laughs> and if you really want to have a quiet PlayStation, then you can set it, of course, also at 62 degrees here. You just go here. You set it at six, uh, 62 or 65 degrees and this is still enough. And the PlayStation, of course, will run a bit uh, quieter and um, maybe not so nasty for you guys or whatever it calls in English. But here, like you can see, it's getting down already again to 59 and uh, this is the automatic mode that you got to love this thing. This is really just perfect because um, this is the best what you can do to your PlayStation 3 and if you get uh, or if you got a custom firmware then of course you should go here into uh, Batman and then you should uh, set uh, the settings here okay just that you guys can see if you want to have the same settings as I have then you can do it here like I told at 60% or 62 and here for the slim 32% or 33 it's still yeah it's just perfect you don't need more okay here again it gets down and not to forget this PlayStation has not some holes over here so if you make here some holes on your case, the PlayStation will run again f uh, 5 uh, till 6 degrees cooler. Okay, we, we got already now 58 degrees and it's calming down again. And that's why you, sh yeah, you got to love this uh, configuration. It's just have some. No, you can just leave it. And yeah, the rest, this tool will just do it automatically. And um, yeah, I hope you are, uh, we can say, um, yeah, happy that I have shown you how to fix this problem because, um, yeah, some PlayStations whoop, will have this problem and um, you never know if you have already cut the heat spreaders off and the PlayStation gets still too hot. Uh, then you need to do and to check your heat spreader or your cooler to see if it's uh, just that bad uh, like mine was. So here you can also see the startup. Uh, wait, I need to activate it longer. Wait. Oh, come on, wait. No, okay. So now you can see also here when it's coming down, 
the numbers were also you can say here 29.52 and uh, 29.57 and we can say this is um, here you can see uh, how the fan is turning too so these are just uh, we can say the numbers that you can see the the fan acceleration or I don't know how to call this in English but I think you can understand what I mean so as the fan gets lower this numbers gets down too okay guys uh, this was all for me NSC in the place to be hee <laughs> hee have fun and stay tuned on my channel lots thumbs up and uh, yeah subscribe to my channel if you have not and yo wish you the best peace NSC in the place to be dun 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 NSC in the place to be and see